as the tribute stand on their podiums, my gosh! Good people, it is another fine day in the year of the Zenith, the first fine day in the start of season 11. The official starter kicks off here with Toon Link, Dave, Anomaly, the Anomalocaris, and I, your United States Aviator, for the, you know it, you love it, the, uh, music? Gosh darn it, Tooncore Japan, just, uh, give me, uh, 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 do we, uh, just, uh, I gotta hit the emergency, let me get to the emo uh, emergency profile, right, yeah, hit me with that. Well, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, it is the start of season 11, it's time to get this show on the road. 24 competitors, one champion, and the title is on the line. It's Dongarapa Hunger Games. Let's introduce everyone who is here for this season 11 premiere. 12 of them from the finale. 12 of them from preseason. We have Teru Teru the champion here to defend his title proudly. Kyoko, second place. Couldn't quite get the job done. Get the job done. Could have happened today. Sonya, the sheep wrangler with the cutest knight. I'm sorry, the smallest knight rather. Monotaro, I looked over and I saw the cutest knight. There's Kamaru with turnip boy. Himiko is still around. It is the year of the mage. Will she make that happen today? Sakura, former champion, trying to make it two times Sakura to start off season 11. Samugi in District 5 with also a part of Manga Mayhem, Fumi. They dominated last season but couldn't get any titles to their names. But they're all three here today. Can they do it today? I don't know. Kokichi is around with Munakata. And in District 7, we see the start of preseason. So, a competitor. He's won the title before. Could he be champion again. Mikan is also around. Bernadetta is here to play the game. Three houses. She wants this. Mad Moxie won in preseason. Didn't. She was a wild card and here she is today. Nagito along with Mama. Mimopo with Kaizue. Both from Fongons. District 11. We see Mizuki of the Mets. Tag Team Agent of Chaos. And we see Nakamaru. In District 12 we see Togami. Togami, the singles agent of chaos, if he wins today, it could cause a chaos transferal. And Kaito, the luminary of the losers, is the last competitor to make it to this grand spot. Ladies and gentlemen, that is our field. That is the start of season 11. But the title is on the line, and I have to ask you, who's it going to be? First, second, and third, make those picks in the comments. You can do it right there below. You know how to do it. Go there, make those picks. I'm gonna make mine right here, right now. For first place, I got Samugi. I got her getting the title back. The Mookster is about to rain. She's not gonna rain chaos, but she's going to say, hey, look, y'all don't want me to win. That means I'm gonna win. I got her for first. Give me Bernie for second. I don't know why. I think Bernadette's got a good shot, and I think she's gonna shoot her way to victory. In third place, I gotta go for Mama. District 9. Yeah, I love her. Those are my picks. I know that you all have made yours. And it's almost time to get this show on the road. Are you ready? Because the following matchup is scheduled for one fall. And it is for the Don Gon Rampa Hunger Games Champion of Champions title. We start this thing by... Oh, I'm sorry. Well, these are very on brand, aren't they? Look at that. You know, it is that time in the store. I was actually a cup stack and cha I wasn't a champion, but I mean, back in the day, back in my day, we had cup stacking. They had that little mat where you time yourself. Now, hold on. Let me get the. Let me get through here real quick. Uh, and then just get all of these. Uh, get all of that, and then. This many in this hand. It's been a long time since I've done this, and these aren't official slick cup, st cup stacking ones, so I'm gonna I'm be real quick with them. Uh, close, close, close. Very close, but let me tell you. There. That's all 10. I still got it. I sure do. It takes a true champion to stack cups like that.
You couldn't let me have my moment? Okay, well, I guess not. Let's start this match. How many times, Asnir? How many times? It is championship action, we're doing it. Oh, we have been getting a streak of these, actually. A streak! Eventually, we're gonna get a whole bunch of fives, and then a one's just gonna show up, and it's just gonna be bad news bears, but hey. It's okay to get bad news bears as long as we re-simulate five times today. And that's exactly what we're going to do for Teru Teru's title. Can he win? Can he retain? I don't know, but we're re-simulating not one time. Not two times, or three, or four. But I'll tell you how many. And with secret achievements now officially in play, I would like to say with certainty that we are re-simulating for the spiciest of RNG five times. Oh, okay. We're re-simulating a full set of five times. All of these competitors go on. They stare Teru Teru down. There's only one goal in their mind, and that is to become the champion of champions. Shall we proceed? Let's do it. As the tribute stand on their podiums, my gosh! The horns they doth sound. And honestly, it feels wrong to interrupt this, but I will say, go ahead, horn bears, go ahead and sound the horns. Most excellent, however, we're gonna get back to this, cause you know, that's, that's not right. That's, we're not gonna get back to that, we're, we're gonna get back to, to this. Which sounds pretty epic. And I'm feeling it so sets off a bomb killing. Samugi, my pick for first. Oh, <laughs> Munakata, Himiko, and Kyoko. And honestly, there's still cups everywhere, so give me give me just a second so that there's not cups literally in the way of my mouse. Most excellent. A shame to those four, though. Kaizue stabs Hifumi Rapili with a butcher's knife, all while laughing wildly. Huh. Sakura runs away from the corner cope. Kaito finds a book title to cook Hiroko. Momo. A beginner's guide. Hiroko is both amazed and horrified at the level of detail. Mikan breaks Mizuki's nose for a basket of bread. Mimopo smashes Komaro across the face with a brick. She just shrugs off the blow. Bernie opens the pack. Oh, well, she's like, mm, that's some delicious gum. She opens it. But Nagito, Monotaro, and Moxie all suddenly appear out of nowhere. Ask for a piece. Terry Terry decides to head back to the corner copy to look for supplies. It could have been left during the bloodbath, however. When he finds the middle of the arena, the corner copy, it's. Just not there. Kokichi finds a backpack full of camping equipment. Sonya and Te uh, Togami, they both run away from the cornucopia. Nekamaru trips over his feet, breaks his neck on the way down. My guy. Nekamaru. Squad. My guy. Gosh. Turner Boy arrives at the arena. Memories completely wiped. The sole thing he can remember is his name. We will proceed, though, and we will see. It is time for day one. And Sakura tries to... Oh my gosh. Sakura tries to sneak attack Bernie, Bernie catches on, runs away, Nagito trips on a comically placed banana peel and accidentally breaks his neck, Teru Teru finds a mysterious gauntlet. Upon snapping, turns Mikan, Mimopo, Sonya, Hiroko, Kaito, Togami, and Monotaro all into dust. Goodness gracious, Mizuki beats Komaru with a steel chair, Turner Boy panders to the audience, and Moxie, Kokichi, Kaizue do the torture dance whilst torturing, so... I think we are down to your saving grace picks. It's not often that we see the Infinity Gauntlet, a mysterious gauntlet, but the champ wields it, and he says, oh, you guys want me to lose this title? He says, do you want any of them to win this title? Maybe Kaito get his first win? Maybe Momo hold that title strongly. Sonya, who's been wrong so many times. Maybe Mikan, who wants some singles gold? He said, snap. We'll proceed. And unless there's an arena event, it's 14 cannon shots, which literally brings us down to your final 10. Very quickly, we hit the saddest of all moments for. Samugi, Munakata, Himiko, Kyoko, Hifumi, Nakamaru, Nagito, Mikan, Mimopo, Sonya, Hiroko, Kaito, 
Togami, Monotaro. Huh! Five was, um, five was real brutal, wasn't it? Huh, you, hmm, you, ha. Huh. Hey. As if in a blink of an eye, it's your final ten, which means, holy heck. You might need some new picks, and it's time to make them already. It is your saving grace picks. It's your final 10 competitors. They are the champion Teru Teru. Snapped seven people out of existence. And he's here to try and show the world that he still needs to be champion. Komaru wants that title one more again. She wants to be champion of champions one more again. Turnip Boy wants it for the first time ever. Turnip Boy, a strange entity indeed. Could he come out with a title though? Sakura. Has held the champion of champions title before. And so does Kokichi, but they both want it one more time. Kokichi, the very first one, has never held the singles title since then, though. Can today be the day of reckoning? Can Kokichi, uh, can Kokichi come back? So is still around as well. So. Has won in premiere action before. Can he do it again? Can he start another season as champion? I don't know. But say it ain't so? It might be Bernadetta. Bernie's here. Burn wants to burn it down and win this championship. Can she do it? It's a possibility. Mad Moxie has shown us what she can do. She's shown us that she is a threat in these games. Will she make it happen? Will Kaizue be the first Fawn God to hold the champion of champions title? I'm not sure. We'll have to wait and see. Mizuki is the tag team agent of chaos along with the Mets, baby. Will she follow in So's footsteps, become Tag Team Agent of Chaos, and Singles Champion? I don't know. But, she's got a game coming out in less than a month now. Goodness gracious, look at you, Mizuki. About to get all grown up, but... I think it's time to show up and show off. Those are your final ten. I'm gonna make my picks. You make your picks, too. I know you feel like you literally just made them. Because you kind of did. <laughs> However, I will say... Make those picks right here, right now. I will make them too for first. So, I think he's doing it again. In fact, I don't think we're having a Danganronpa character win this title. I don't. I got Sol for first, I got Turner Boy for second, and I got Moxie for third. She got Moxie. She's got audacity, temerity. She sure has Moxie. So, Turner Boy, Moxie. Those are my top three. Those are my picks. And I know you've made yours. First, second, and third in the comments below. Make them. Go ahead, do it. Do it, I dare you. I dare you to do it. And if you don't do it, I mean, that's fine too. Uh, thanks for watching, though. Oh, and it's a premiere live chat. How are you doing? I'm so sorry. I hadn't realized. I was just out here recording like, oh, it's going to be a good old recording day. How are y'all today? How was that first round of so many people perishing? Crazy, right? Wild? Wild and crazy? Don't worry. It's about to get even more crazy because we are at your final 10. I know you've made your picks. I think it's time to stop dillying and dallying it's time to stop belaboring it is time for one more song it's your final 10 there is no new champ alert but there are souls hoping that they can take the title from teru teru like komaru turnip boy and sakura Kokichi, Cell, Bernie, Moxie, Kaizue, Mizuki, 10 competitors, 1 title, 1 heartbeat. The same pulse as that of a samurai woman. Let's do this. Championship action. Who will come in on top? Will Terry Terry retain? Or will someone else take the title from him? We'll proceed and we see that Kokichi goes to the Love Hotel with Turner Boy. Mizuki has a dream in which Moxie is flying and kill her. Katoko introduces Komaru to her long lost twin Katoka. Terry Terry gets bonked it on the head throughout the night. So tells Sakura a bunch of useless fun facts. And Bernie convinces Kai Zue to snuggle with her. Very peaceful day in contrast to the bloodbath in day one. <laughs> Let's proceed and see what else unfolds. We see Komaru stealing from Territory while he isn't looking. Kaizue shoots a poison to start into Kokichi's neck, slowly killing him. Hate to see it. 
So and Moxie are sitting in a tree, K-I-S-S-I-N-G, Bernie steps on a Lego brick while barefoot and does indeed perish. You hate to see it, but you also hate to see Mizuki spearing one of my picks, Turnip Boy, in the abdomen. Does he have one of those? Kind of, I guess? He's a turnip. Sakura is wondering, uh, working rather, on an ad that will appear in the next episode of the Danganronpa Hunger Games, will she? Uh, we'll have to see. It's probably for something fantastic, but we will proceed. We lost to three? We did indeed lose three, so we'll still get to hear this delightful music. But it's also a terrible turnabout for Kokichi. Bernie. Turnip boy. We are down to seven. The champion, no new champ alert. Former champion Komaru. Sakura, also a former champion. So, also a former champion. And then we have Mad Moxie, Kaizue, and Mizuki. Those are your final seven. One will walk out with a championship. Will Teru Teru be the next person to retain? It's a possibility. He may have had help from Mew. Maybe he's learned from Mew. That's a possibility. We'll have to wait and see, though. But for right now, it's still technically Samurai Woman. Teru Teru, Komaru, Sakura, So, Moxie, Kaizue, Mizuki. Seven competitors, one title. Let's keep going. Let's see what unfolds. Are you prepared? Are you on the edge of your seat? Who are you rooting for at this point? I have no idea. I, you know, I'm not going to say who I hope it comes down to because then they'll both immediately perish, but we're about to see who it comes down to. As we proceed, we see Komaru fell right out of this world, so dies trying to escape the arena. Moxie can't decide whether Mizuki should live or die. Kaizue and Sakura hold hands, and Teru Teru finds a stash of pancakes that I hypothetically hinted at. We lost two. So, and Komaru. It is between Moxie, Mizuki, Kaizue, Sakura, and Teru Teru. We have not had a feast, but I think we will today. We will indeed. As the cornucopia is replenished with food, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute families, Teru Teru decides not to attend the feast. Moxie sets off an explosive killing Kaizue. Sakura decides not to go, and Mizuki decides not to go either. It is Teru Teru for the retention. Moxie for the shock of the century. Sakura for the second time, and Mizuki to follow in So's footsteps. We still have a day to get through, and that day sees. Teru Teru, receiving, huh, medical splash from a secret admirer. Togami berates Mizuki for hours. Mizuki thinks that she and Togami actually grew closer that day. Sakura receives a gift from a secret admirer. Oh, oh god, it's repulsive. Who gave her that? That's nasty. And Moxie hangs up mistletoe in the arena. I'll remember that. We are down another three. Which means we are at your final four. You know who they are, but let's hear who we lost in this terrible turnabout four. Komaru. So. Kaizue. We're down to four. It is Moxie, Teru Teru, Sakura, and Mizuki. Teru Teru has not lost this title yet. Teru Teru could retain. Sakura, still around, wants to hold that title for the second time. Mad Moxie shocked the world, wants to shock the world again by being champion, and Mizuki wants to follow in So's footsteps. All of these competitors have something that they're fighting for. But now they're all fighting in something that we like to call within our final five, Teru Teru, Sakura, Moxie, and Mizuki, all caught in a golden crisis of fate. Who will win? Let's proceed, and we shall see that. Ooh. Sakura puts on a suave top hat, how fancy. Mizuki severely slices Moxie with a chainsaw. Rest in peace to Moxie. You almost had it. You were going wild today, and Teru Teru gets a hold of my soundboard, and if I played it accidentally early. But lo and behold. Plays Megalovania. We know what this does! Oh no. This was my fault. Most excellent, however, we're gonna get back to this, cause you know... That's... that's not right. That's... we're not gonna get back to that, we're, we're gonna get back to... That first day was my fault. We know that Megalovania... Causes the competitors for some reason to just be insanely violent. 
and I legitimately accidentally pressed that button and we saw what happened on day one. We lost 14 people and we were immediately down to saving grace picks. That was my bad. I misclicked and it was my bad. Oh no. Huh. Well, and that for summoning for continuity, let's proceed. It is down to Sakura, Mizuki, and Teru Teru, and we see... Sakura just hangs up mistletoe. Mizuki starts planting seedlings in her garden. Oh, it's real nice. It's getting hot for that, Mizuki, though. Uh, you, you might have wanted to plant them a little bit earlier. Teru Teru receives... Oh, it depends on where you are living, though, actually. Teru Teru receives a gift from a secret admirer. It's a sword! We'll proceed again. We lost just the one. And it's indeed a terrible turnabout. Four. Moxie. She had the moxie to make it this far. The people, you people, you, you chat. I love y'all. <laughs> you chat. You chat. You believed in Moxie, didn't you? Some of you probably did. I kind of believed in Moxie too, but Teru Teru is still around, holding on to his title, snapped his fingers, and wants to be champion forever. Sakura wants that title for the second time, and once again, Mizuki is here, standing tall, standing tough, wanting to follow in So's footsteps, become tag team agent of chaos, and then walk through and become the champion of champions. It's a possibility, and it may happen, but it's still a crisis of fate. Teru Teru, Sakura, Mizuki. We'll proceed, and may all end here. It, huh, hmm, huh, it doesn't. But it's down to your final two, I believe. Sakura latches onto Mizuki's back, blows herself up to try to protect Teru Teru. She tried to protect the champion despite her best efforts. Mizuki survived the blast. Sakura tried to end this match and ensure that Teru Teru retained, but Mizuki somehow, some way, the chaos brimming inside of her wouldn't allow her heart to stop beating. She sees the champion of champions, and she just sees gold. It wouldn't cause a chaos transferal, but she wants to be the one to be remembered. And with that, I have to ask you between Teru Teru and Mizuki, just who will it be? Teru Teru, Mizuki. Teru Teru has the opportunity to be the third champion in this series uh, rather, the third champion of champions in this series to successfully retain the champion of champions title. Mew, Monofune, Kateru Teru be added to that very, very short list. I'm not certain. Clearly, you know, Horn Bears did their thing, they retained too. But we're, we're not going to talk about it. That's tag team action. This is champion of champions action. And then there's Mizuki. She wants to be the second ever character of non Danganronpa origin to show up and win the championship. She's got a 50-50 shot to do it and she survived a blast. Could it be? She is a tag team agent of chaos, could win the singles title, could be the second person ever to do that. I don't know who it's gonna be. It is either a new champ alert or a title retention. It is either an agent of chaos holding championship gold or it is a title retention Mizuki Teru Teru live chat call it who do you got the small chef with the title retention or the blue haired tough as nails girl brimming with chaos only one can come out on top and between those two between Mizuki Teru Teru, between chaos and the champ, we see with certainty, without a shadow of a doubt, that your answer is, oh my gosh, You know, I always knew that this would happen one day. 
I didn't think it would happen today. And I didn't think it would happen with the champion. Teru Teru and Mizuki somehow, someway are able to reach an agreement and decide to challenge me to a duel. They survive and are declared the winners. Co-champions? Co-champions. Co-champions? Co-champions. 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 Y'all gotta stop doing this. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all are- I'm about to lower that percent chance. I'm about to lower it to like 50-50 shot. Oh, I'm gonna lower it. I'm gonna lower it to like 25% chance for you to beat me. Oh, I'm gonna lower it, I promise you. <laughs> I can't believe they did this. I can't believe they did this. But after this terrible turnabout, four. Sakura. They did this. They did this. We'll see everybody's statuses. Uh, they did this. They, they did it. I look. I can't look. Uh, you know. Yeah, co-champions. Hit it. You're winners. Somehow, some way. A feat that we all knew was possible, but really never expected. The champion of champions, Teru Teru, survived till the end and was face to face with chaos, but somehow, some way, they were able to meet amends. Mizuki said she's not the singles agent of chaos, she's not after you. And so, I have to declare them both your winners. And still and new, still and new, technically title retention and technically new champion, Teru Teru retains and Mizuki claims victory. What a strange existence we live in now. Co-singles champions. What does this mean for Terra Terra? What does this mean for Mizuki? And what does this mean for Togami, new champion and still champion? Togami technically gets to try to spin twice every episode to try and unify those titles. That is where we are today. Your winners are both Teru Teru and Mizuki. They both hold a replica of the championship. However, Togami's still here. He knows that this is his season, and when he reigns Chaos, he will unify those titles Pull them both into the episode, and they will both defend the title. I honestly, I didn't even expect it because at the at the moment in time, I it did, something happened with this five. This five is something strange. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Interesting premiere. I wonder what will happen tomorrow. Mizuki and Terry Terry once again win this thing. Sakura takes third. Moxie in fourth. Kaizue. Ooh. Don't, 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 no, oh, no. Hey, so <laughs> I love this track. So is in sixth. Komaru is in seventh. Turnip Boy in eighth. Bernadette in ninth. Kokichi rounding off your top ten. And that is your episode today. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm vibing, I'm vibing so hard. Also, make sure to check out uh, the creator of this track and the first track. The link is in the description. They have a whole bunch of Don Rampa tracks, they have Ace Attorney tracks, and they just have a whole bunch of good stuff. Be sure to check them out because, man, 
Oh, they got some good stuff. That is our game. It was... It was co-champions. Singles co-champions. I never would have thought, but here we are today. So started this thing off by setting off a bomb, taking so many people out, but it ended with Tag Team Agents of Chaos and Mizuki claiming gold, but Teru Teru also retaining gold. Who would have thunk that that would be how we come to a close. Seven KOs for Teru Teru. He snapped. So used a bomb to get two. Kaizue and Mizuki both had... I'm sorry. So at four. Kaizue and Mizuki both had two. And Mad Moxie still put her name out there. One KO. We'll go back to the reaping. This is all over, ladies and gentlemen. Teru Teru retains, but Mizuki also gains. They will walk into season 11 together as champions. Congrats to them. Teru Teru joins a pretty exclusive bunch, but so does Mizuki. Who would've thunk? They both joined something that's never happened before in singles action, so good on them. I am ecstatic. For Mizuki, mainly. For Teru Teru, too. He kind of deserves it. But ladies and gentlemen, still champion Teru Teru. New champion Mizuki. And tomorrow, it is tag team action. Same time, same place. Live. Premiering on the United States Aviator Channel. Toodaloo. Flight crew. Until then. You're the Zenith. Toon Link Dave, Anomaly the Noble Lakaris. Thanks for watching. Anything else? OC action is open. You should make sure to go and enter. A lot of you have already entered. A lot of you. I think it's one of the it's uh I think that's what like the largest first day numbers that I've seen. Which is awesome! We're gonna have some fun OCs and it's gonna be a fantastic time. I'm excited to see what unfolds in tomorrow's tag team action. Will hired hand pull off something crazy like this as well? I'm not entirely certain. But until then, toodaloo, like through. Thanks for watching.